Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to read in your hearing today, Psalms 113. A wonderful and fantastic good morning to you and your family. I pray to God that you are utilizing this day to give thanks and praise to the Most High God. For the Lord our God is righteous and he despite imparts righteousness to us as we seek his word, as we go into his word, as we seek his face continually. The Lord our God is righteous. He shall do all things well if we continue to seek his face. Psalms 113 goes this way. Praise ye the Lord. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Are you praising the name of the Lord today? Are you seeking his face in all circumstances? Please, 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 don't get distracted. Don't, don't be disturbed. Because if you don't pray, Satan will make a mess of you. And we don't want Satan to make a mess of you. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. I say, blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. He is worthy of our praise. And the thing that a, a creator looks to his creature and, and really uh, bakes him up and loves him unconditionally. And we sit back and we play like we don't know who God is. That we came here on our own. But our lips of, of praise, that's all you're asking for because all the money on this earth cannot satisfy him because he doesn't desire it. It's not him. He desires our praise and our worship, our adoration, our thankfulness. And so that we'll, we'll see the psalm as go forth, Psalms 113, Psalms 114, uh, Passover hymns that the Lord Jesus Christ sung, him and his disciples sung um, during the time of Passover, one of the last Passovers that he would have had before his crucifixion. And so it's, it's, it's fitting. Um, for for us just celebrating the death and burial and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. But also it's important for us to know that we do this continually, that we don't waste time, we don't waste our efforts um, into things that doesn't matter. But we must stay focused on this word. And the word continues in verse 3, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, the Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord's name is to be praised. We mustn't waste time. Every moment, every opportunity we have, we should be praising the name of the Lord. And even if we don't have all the time, we should make the time. Which for the Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwelleth on high? There's no one like our God. No one delivers, no one sets a captive free, no one brings Great deliverance like our God. Hey, look at that circumstance situation you faced with the other day. The Lord delivered you out of them. He delivered you out of, out of those, uh, from those persons who were secretly trying to devour you, cause your harm, cause your mishap, cause your finances to be in ruin, a state of ruin. But God has delivered you. And he's not reminding you of it. He just wants you to know he was in the midst of it and breaking it out for you, even in your subtle cries and your pains. And you, you figure you could figure it out on your own. I, I, I try to figure it out on my own and realize for the most part, it's only God could do it. And so we must lend ourselves to God and God and, and God alone that he will deliver us and keep us from all harm and danger, seen and unseen. So rest is short. Be assured to know the word is, is, is real. There's no God like our God. There's no God like, Je like Jehovah God. You could search high and low. You could look all over the world. You go to all the Ivy League universities and the like, and you will never find anyone like him. No one deliver like him. No one make provisions for him. And he's one step ahead of the game, but you just don't want to ask. You think you're obligated to it. Come on, my friends. Let's worship God in spirit and in truth. Verse 6 goes on to say, Who humble himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth, he raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted the needy out of the downhill. Now you, you could see plenty of success stories here in the Bahamas and throughout the world today. You could you you know about persons who were who were dirt poor and now they are millionaires and they live in a high life. But now they refuse to give God all the praise. They was crying with tears like Hezekiah crying, crying, crying. And the Lord delivered them. And they didn't say uh a mega thank you. They're like the 
ten leopards, only one returned to give thanks and praise to the Lord. Would you be among that one, and not like the other nine who went, a, went away and continually not given God thanks? Come on, people. We could do this. This is doable. In the Bahamas, in the world today, despite all things, we are, we are in a spiritual warfare. Hey, an enemy ain't going to overtake us. He ain't going to overtake me. I gonna, I'm going to press on. I will pray. And I will push back the darkness in every circumstance which you're faced with. So you be encouraged. Be encouraged that this, this time, this time, will not leave us. Because he raises people up from the dirt and from the downhill and he makes them big. He sets them on high. And, the, and verse 8 says, that he may set him up in, in with princes, even with the princes of his people. Man, God is doing some stuff, man. I can tell you, success stories are all out there. Uh, persons being lifted up, but they fail to acknowledge that it's God who lifts them up. They think they did it on their own wise and their own, and they had good lucks on their organization. They are part of part of them. No, man, it's God. It's all God. It's all God. You know, he reigns on the just and the unjust. And we should not find ourselves in that predicament that we're not given God all the praise. Every moment, moment by moment, every day. So I go back to the, the verse say, I was to say, bless the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Blessing the name of the Lord at all times. Even when we're not sure about What's happening and what's going on? You should bless the Lord. You should bless the Lord. Keep him before you in all circumstances. But God is a God who's, who really who really loves you unconditionally. He brings things to you even before you even ask for it. And sometimes stubbornly you just don't see it. He, he, he provides the manna from heaven. And the manna is in many circumstances. A good job. A nice uh, place to stay. So much different things. But we fail to acknowledge God. And verse 9 ends this way, is that he make it the barren woman to keep house and to be joyful, to be a joyful mother of children. Praise ye the Lord. I say praise ye the Lord. He made the barren woman. Barren things in your life, not only just generic to women. It's barren things in your life, in your business. Um, there's barren times. There are times where there's, there, there's nothing is flowing. In a bar could say even... Even if there's no stocks, no 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 stock in the in, in the barns, no food on the trees, no olive, no no fruit from the olive tree, no wine, uh, no grapes on the wine to to crush wines. We say in all this, when all this, the all the lack there is, he said, I still praise the Lord, I still worship Him because I will wait on my change, my change, I wait for my change, my change comes from the Lord. I'm not stupid um, to know that it's the Lord who's making the provision for these things. So let the Lord do his thing. Let him do his thing. And you'll see how great the God our God is. He is Jehovah Jireh. I want to bless you this day. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your ultimate blessing upon your people. Those who heard this, 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 this video, watch this video with sincerity of heart. And who are not discounted. Who will hear it not only today on April 20th but every day proceeding until your return and so father we thank you and we praise you for that you are perfecting everything which concerns us we thank you god that your grace and mercy is ever before us and you're keeping us in perfect peace as our hearts and minds are stayed upon you father i bind the works of the enemy they will not prevail over your people over your creation father let your let your light shine upon them as the the, the dawn, the day dawn light shines on the earth for us to see, clearing back the darkness that we could see and we could have our movement in the day. So let it be in the lives of our, of our people today. Those who name the name of Christ, of Yeshua HaMashiach, or however they call them, a call upon you, God, out of such a sin, sincere heart. Oh God, let it be so today. I decree and declare blessings upon them i bind the works of the enemy that he will not prevail against them in in their lives in their personal lives and their business lives and their ministerial lives and every aspect of their life oh god in the name of jesus you you grant unto them the success that needed but to search their hearts cleanse them of all unrighteousness make them pure before you in all things father as you restore job who prayed countless times over Oh God, 
and Lord, and you brought him down low, but you raised him back up and multiplied all the provisions that he had and beyond that. And so, Father, we thank you that you are God of multiplication, and Lord, you are God of increase in every area. And so we give you all the praise. Bless these people, Almighty God. Bless the hearers of this, of this word, of this message, Lord, that they would not hear us in repetitions, but Lord, the sincerity of my heart and the sincerity of your giving and your blessing would be unto them as a sweet, uh, as a sweet savor to them and a sweet savor unto you as they continue to lift up the name of Jesus and pray continually and seek your face. And Lord, that they'll understand that they are forgiven of all unrighteousness. Grant unto them the robe of righteousness that only comes from you. In the blessed name of Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Shalom, Shalom, Amen.